there's different information in the different components of the spike. It's not that the spike is worse than the plateau. It's not that the plateau is worse than the spike. They're telling you different things. The size, the amplitude of the initial spike is telling you what your insulin reserve is. So people with reduced insulin secretory capacity are going to have a bigger spike than people who can muster up a, a bigger insulin response. The plateau is going to tell you how insulin resistant are you. And that's going to tell you about your risk for all the other diseases of high insulin term metabolic syndrome. So not just diabetes, but fatty liver disease, um, hypertension, uh, dyslipidemia, uh, cardiovascular disease, cancer, dementia, uh, polycystic ovarian disease are all dependent on that plateau. And what we've learned is that the spike as the um, resistance gets worse and your beta cell starts running out of insulin, then the spike goes up. So in a sense, the plateau tends to precede the spike in terms of the evolution of the disease. So it's not really a question of which is worse. It's a, more of a question of what comes first. Eventually, if you've got a defective plateau because you're not clearing insulin, that means your beta cell is under strain. And ultimately, it will show up as a big spike at the beginning, and both are bad.